All of us are searching for ways to make the world around us better. We're trying to solve problems in new ways. Nanotechnology represents a new arrow in the quiver, a different capability that we can bring to bear on solving these problems. What is the NNCI, the National Nanotechnology Coordinated Infrastructure? It's a 16-member network of sites around the nation that provide infrastructure access to people who would like to utilize nanotechnological tools, but may or may not have them in-house. Funded by the National Science Foundation to be the resource centers for nanoscale researchers. To provide essentially a place where infrastructure, very expensive infrastructure equipment, could be shared by researchers. And NCI is in principle a resource, a resource for tools in the area of nanotechnology, nanoscience and nanoengineering, and a resource, a human resource. The heart of the NNCI is the lab technicians who are there to help you understand the equipment and to help you understand your own questions better. We have all the tools you could use to make, you know, very, very sophisticated, very, very advanced design, next generation electronics. But we also have a lot of core people working on bio-inspired materials and bio-inspired devices, and both of those ensemble of people work creatively in our spaces. There are people who are interested in exercising the expertise at the various network sites, and we can help them bring their nanotechnological uh, interests to life. The NNCI is essentially 67 individual facilities located at 16 sites and 13 partner institutions geographically distributed across the U.S. So we have sites on the East Coast, we have sites on the West Coast, we have sites in the northern part of the U.S., we have sites in the southern part of the U.S. and in the center. Some of these regional sites have specific capabilities that add to the, the overall um, portfolio of, of nanotechnologies that NNCI can make available. Having this interaction between these sites nationally, we can develop best practices around a specific area of function, and then we can translate those best practices nationally and we can implement those on a national scale. We're not just providing a service that's a facility, but we're actually creating communities. We are accelerating the rate of progress in this area, or at least we hope to be able to accelerate the rate of discovery. And then we have a big education program as well to educate the general public, students, teachers, the world. The NNCI program is, is tremendously important for the nation. Making available this type of equipment so that the largest diversity of minds can, can make use of it and fuel the inventions of tomorrow is tremendously important. Cutting edge technologies made available to more people increases the chances that we are going to create the next generation of technologies to solve the future's problems. In the end, these are open access resources that are available to everyone, both in the U.S. and outside the U.S., whether you are in academia, whether you are in industry, whether you are in a government organization, whether you are in a nonprofit organization. That's really the goal of the NNCI.